Hey guys, just showing you how to make a strawberry and banana smoothie. I um, love having these for breakfast and this recipe is for one person. Going to start off with the banana. I normally just use one. Um, as you see, I'm peeling off everything. Um, I don't even like to have the little strands because they stay in the smoothie. Um, obviously, if you're, I would probably use one banana per person that you're making the smoothie for. Um, and you see I cut it into pieces, smaller pieces because it's just easier to blend. Um, yeah, so just one banana per person. And then I go over to the strawberries. Um, for each banana, I cut about three strawberries. So th about three just standard size strawberries per banana. Um, and I cut those into smaller pieces as well because like I said before, um, the smaller the pieces, the easier it is to blend. And if you're younger doing this video, I would advise you to have an adult cut the pieces. Um, if you have a sharp knife, if not, you can use a butter knife. But definitely be careful. I like to keep it, the counter cleared as I'm doing it. And now I'm going over to the almond milk. Um, I can't drink regular milk, but you can put regular milk in it if you want. Um, I, In that little cup here, I actually had some leftover from a previous smoothie. And you just need about a cup. And that was perfect with how much I had left in there. So just about a cup of milk. Um, you can also use your yogurt if you would like. And ice cubes. Um, I love to have a cold smoothie. So I use about three ice cubes in there. Um, and it just helps to keep it that thicker consistency as well as keeping it cold. Um, you can also freeze your fruit if you want. If you don't, don't like to use ice, you can also put your fruit in the freezer uh, maybe like an hour or two before you plan on making your smoothie. If not, you can do it the night before if you plan on having it for breakfast. Um, but I like to use about three ice cubes in mine. And like I said, this recipe is made for one person, so um, you can definitely switch it up however you want. here you guys I'm gonna show you guys the buttons um, I have a smoothie option on my um, blender here I like to have it on the low level as well because on even on the low level my blender is very strong so I um, it's all based on the type of blender that you're gonna use as well um, so I'm just blending it here um, until I see that all of the chunks are totally gone um, I don't like to have big chunks left in there but to each its own um, and I like to make sure that it's well blended with the ice and the pieces of fruit and everything. So definitely, definitely um, like to make sure that it is a smooth consistency. And here is the finished product, guys. Oh my goodness, it is so good. I love um, strawberries and bananas. You can definitely choose whatever type of fruit you like. Um, the other one that I like to do is uh, sh bananas, apples, and cinnamon, which is a very good combination as well, guys. Um, definitely let me know if you guys want to see some more smoothies um, being made. This one I, actually, I really love, so definitely let me know. Thanks for enjoying.